Yo, what's up everybody? We're doing another video today and uh, this one's gonna be NF Lost Feet Hobson. I'm actually gonna switch from the Blue Dream because I was using I was using the Blue Dream because uh, that's what I wanted for the for the other video. We're actually shooting the it's just this uh, same day, and I actually got a little anxious to be honest with you. So I uh, I you know so I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I want something that's just a little bit more calming and relaxing. And so I'm actually just gonna go back to the Golden Owls. Um, there's something about the Golden Owls that are just. I don't know, it's just, it's consistent and it's just like, it's repeatable and it's just really nice. Um, but anyway, so I hope you've all been watching the previous videos. Um, this week, we, we're really trying to do something different. We're trying to just open up more and really connect more with each and every one of you. So I hope you have uh, felt the same things that we do. And let's talk about this video with Hobson and NF. So NF is a rapper, he never swears or anything like that. And he really talks again, what about real shit? And so I think this is such a beautiful compliment having Hobson and, uh, and, and NF. Let's give it a listen. Look, self awareness, prides a coat, and yes, I like to wear it. Self awareness, prides a coat, and I like to wear it. Pride is not a part of you, but you know what? Sometimes you know it feels nice, right? It's good to be prideful sometimes, but it's not really the real you. Right. Buttoned up, don't like to let no air in with a pair of gloves that I hope doesn't perish. I discovered though when I get holes in them and I let joy in, I'm in higher spirits. My mistakes are like a screaming parrot, just repeating lyrics. I can barely bear it when I'm lost. Road is narrow, I'm looking down it like a gun's barrel. Aren't we all searching for the serum that could help us breathe and leave our state of peril? All of us have made defensive scarecrows that we scatter around our fields and treat like heroes when they scare away the things that we should cherish. Cause we're too embarrassed to admit the fears that we're lost. Yeah. Okay, let's just go back there and listen to that again. I'm looking down it like a gun's barrel. Aren't we all looking down it like a gun's barrel, like you're, you know, contemplating. Con all searching for the serum that could help us breathe and leave our state of peril. All of us have made defensive scarecrows that we scatter around our field. All of us have made defensive scarecrows that we've scattered around, right? So things that are like, again, are going to scare people away. It's not really real, but we're putting it out there because we really want to protect ourselves. And so we end up pushing those away when maybe we want to actually allow people in further, but we're afraid. On our fields and treat like heroes when they scare away the things that we should cherish because we're too embarrassed to admit the fears that we're lost. Yeah, but what does it matter? I get to combat him inside of me. He's a person who canvas the pain can be glad to get messy when I start to get rattled. The heart of a savage and quiet when I lurk in the shadow. Something on that up. I don't want to be over dramatic, but look at the data. It's obvious that humans are fragile. We tend to get mad at the ones that call us out, but the fact is we need someone that'll be honest when we fly the handle. I admit, I throw a you don't want a bunch of yes men around you, right? That's basically what he's saying here. You want to have people who are real and people who actually, you know, we're, we're in such a fake fucking society of, you know, you think of your Instagram, your Facebook, everybody's happy, everybody's great. And really inside they're in so much pain and they're hurting. And so you, it's your, if you don't get someone around you, I've, I'm fortunate. I've one person in my life that is really always gives it real. When I begin to unravel, keep my whipping off the grip, but now I'm back in the saddle. My intent is not to rent, I like to own what I value. I can take you on the fence and maybe pick up the paddle. I like the war against the current, that's the way that I travel. Opposite of what the greatest got the brain of a rebel. Take initiative, I'm diligent on every level. I never could settle, I like to keep my foot in the pedal. Yeah, I love to pack arenas and all, but what I really want to do is learn to handle my thoughts. And I love to pack arenas and all, but really, I like to rain on my thoughts. Is that what he said? Every level, I never could settle. I like to keep my foot in the pedal. Yeah, I love to pack arenas and all, but what I really want to do is learn to hate on my thoughts. To hate on my thoughts. So again, when you can actually observe yourself and you can hear that chatter, the negative shit that goes on in your head, and you can actually say, no, that's not me. That's not me. Go. 
put the reins on them, show them I'm the one that's the boss And pull them back when they get out of hand, I'm breaking their jaws I'm taking the flaws, they told me I can never revolve Then pull a bane on them, ask them, oh, you think you're in charge? You ought to know better, ain't no way around it, applause The traits that I want, they say I can't afford what it costs But I, I, I manifested this Failings, how you grow and learn your lessons, kids Take the worst and try to make the best of it Cause when you fail, just know that it's a test in it You can learn to pick yourself back up again And train your brain to not be such a pessimist It's okay to make mistakes, just don't forget that there's a high road But I skip the exit when I'm lost yeah When I'm lost When I'm lost Feeling your feelings, knowing the worst of it Trying to make the best of it basically Is what he's saying When you fail just know that it's a test in it When you fail it's okay, right? When you fail it's okay Are We again live in this society where it's like uh, You gotta be perfect, you gotta be right I think that's just a fucking load of shit and you need to be okay with failing. The most successful people in the world have failed the most. They've made the most mistakes. The last place you ever want to be is in a place whereby you decided to just stay where you are rather than face the fear of failing. Learn to pick yourself back up again and train your brain to not be such a pessimist. You can train your brain to pick you back up again so you fall right you gotta look at it inside your head how are you looking are you falling forward or are you falling backwards fall forward we always fall forward always it's okay to make mistakes just don't forget that there's a high road but i skip the exit when i'm lost yeah when i'm lost when i'm Just a quick thing here. So, uh, Hobson's just about to come on. Hobson basically had like a year off and had a year off. And I think these guys are actually pretty similar, right? They're, uh, I again don't know, if they're, they're pink, think NF is independent as well or has their own label. But these guys, they, have, they, they haven't sold out, right? And they've stuck to their guns about what it is that they want to be. And they aren't going to change that for anybody. And so, this is a really um beautiful video here because hobson is just after getting found by nf and now he's picking him back up after he's failed or he feels like he's failed right lost. feeling lost right we're all lost or at least feel lost but when you, you really it's a thought that you're lost really you can if you know yourself you can never be lost and so and he says it uh, actually earlier, uh, talking about like when we're lost, we miss the exit because you're just, you know, like going around in circles, right? Or the mind is chattering. It always comes back to this, coming back to you and your center in your heart. Lost. Wow, these burdens are heavy and I'm hoping it don't bury me. I used to be joyful and skip so much. The black balloons are like their thoughts and the and the, you know, negative chatter, just the fears that we all carry around. Merely, but now I'm too cautious and tiptoe carefully. My mind left and it's nowhere to be found. Am I a big old parody? Cause it's no fair to me. And now I'm at the point where I'm spinning a grand a week on hypnotherapy. Look. And that's all real. He talked about this, right? That he, uh, for the previous year, was basically going to hypnotherapy to unlock this stuff that was inside of him. And if you think about uh, Alone With Me, I think he explains that uh, a lot and just, being inside your head, comparing yourself to others, and just really feeling empty inside. And you gotta make yourself feel good, but then you gotta face yourself, you gotta look in the mirror. Trying to wash away my sins, I got a group of loved ones that ain't my friends. And if I ever take a nail, then they might grit. And they all wanna see me stay in the cage I'm in. So when it come to anybody, there's no trust for no one. Man, so what? Am I a big old parody? Cause it's no fair to me. And now I'm at the point where I'm spending a grand a week on hypnotherapy. Look, I'm trying to wash away my sins, I got a group of loved ones that ain't my friends. I'm trying to wash away my sins, I got a group of loved ones that ain't my friends. So again, it's like, hey, I'm trying to work on myself. I got, I'm, and then I'm seeing all these people around me and like these people are fucking fake as fuck. And then he goes on to say, you know, I, they'd be smiling if I took a nail, right? And if I ever take a nail, then they might grit. And they all want to see me stay in the cage I'm in. So they all want to see me stay in the cage I'm in. You are the average of the five people you're around. 
look and see who that is. What influence are they putting on you? Do you have a bunch of people around you that are just living in mediocrity that cannot face themselves, that cannot take responsibility for their actions? Because if that's the case and you've got to start just saying, then why the hell am I doing that? And often that comes back to the fact that you've got to be honest that you're afraid and this re these relationships aren't good for you, but you want to make sure that you aren't left alone and uh, you have friends or even thinking that you're friends. So it's, it's just, again, coming back to you knowing yourself. When it come to anybody, there's no trust for no one. Man, so what? My whole plan's to go nuts. My shoulder's ready for most drugs. I'm gon' judge anybody trying to enter my circle with no love. Hold my sanity's gone. I'd rather be torn from this planet. They planted me on your stats a reward. I'm actually bored with having a sore heart. It's torn apart from a family that I don't have. I'm actually sore having a... I'm, I'm actually in pain having such a sore heart because I've come from a family that's full of pain. Let's just get that there. My sanity's gone, I'd rather be torn from this planet They planted me on, your stats a reward I'm actually bored with having a sore heart It's torn apart from a family that I don't have anymore Now hold up I was living so oblivious with millions It really was a Living oblivious with millions I really was So again Great, got all that paper Got all that money And now it's back to Oh shit, but I'm still actually me inside my body And I'm still not happy with myself And I just don't know who I am Or where I belong And I need help But I don't want to I don't want to ask a pity. It's kind of funny what a penny does Mixed in with a mini buzz I feel stuck Life's got me by the neck with a blade against it Cause I was running late for the training Life's got me by the neck with a blade against it Oh, and you just oh, When you feel like the whole world is against you it's no worse feeling you can't do anything right and you just feel like oh you want to give up never for the train and missed it the only thing i feel is pain and vengeance so i'm gonna act out like a raging misfit and every this is i think this speaks volumes right here something about like when i when i'm when i i'm, I'm in so much i'm in so much pain that i act out i'm a misfit and it, it's like the people who are the most unhappy end up creating the most pain. And it's like, I don't know, misery loves company is not correct. It's like, you are just happening to be upset and you don't know how to ask for help. And so you act out in a way that sort of it's like, can you see me type of thing rather than just being straight. Neck with a blade against it, cause I was running late for the train and missed it. The only thing I feel is pain and vengeance, so I'ma act out like a raging misfit. And every verse I lay go stay sadistic. You wanna hate me? Good, great, terrific. You'll never see the day when my anger's dismissed. You better go and change your wish list, cause I yeah, manifested this. This here is just truth. You are responsible for every single thing that happens in your life. Stop fucking blaming other people. You need to realize that you are the only one in your life that has control of what goes on. And it comes back to how you, if you really know yourself, you will not put yourself in, in, in places that will cause you pain and suffering. If you don't feel good, why would you do something? And then if the answer is, well, I don't have any other choice, that's a lie. You do always have a choice. And sometimes you gotta face your fears, even though that is extremely scary. Do not treat me like some adolescent kid. I am praying to the Lord with the book of chains, hoping he go away. I respect that. I got this for this. But see the day when my anger's dismissed. You better go and change your wish list, cause I yeah, manifested this. Do not treat me like some adolescent do not treat me like some adolescent kid. Adolescent kid. I am praying to the Lord with the book. I'm praying to the Lord with the book of James. James, hoping he go wear my testament. This hoping he gonna know my testament. So again, what is he talking about here is he's talking about the fact that he's connected again with spirituality, with God, whatever you want to call it, and that um, yeah, it's like he's 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 getting there. Dark cloud, that's my residence. Demons knocking, I don't have to let him in. I done made mistakes. Dark clouds, that's my residence. Demons knocking, I don't gotta let them in. Right? Because they're always, you see them there. Fucking get the hooks out of your back. Right? Don't allow the toxic people into your life. They can be knocking on your door all day long. I mean, you know, 
The devil doesn't look scary, folks, right? It's a pretty, pretty person. The book of chains, hoping he go at my testament. This dark cloud, that's my residence. Demons knocking, I don't have to let him in. I done made mistakes, day to day, you probably can't relate. I just say this. I, it's not, something about, like, I don't make mistakes. Basically saying, like, uh, I think he's saying that, you know, we all make mistakes. And uh, even if he does. Hoping he go at my testament. This dark cloud, that's my residence. Demons knocking, I don't have to let him in. I done made mistakes, day to day, you probably can't relate. I just say the same when I'm lost. Yeah. When I'm lost. That is my music in the morning. Getting those exercises in in the morning. I mean, that is it. Killer. And there's all the other people lost in, in the field, right? Just waiting to be woken up. So I think it's extremely powerful. And um, again, you've got people who also, the beauty of it is, is when you actually have full control of your situation, you can choose whatever you're trying to connect with, right? Like this is not doctored in any way. This is like people who actually are independent musicians that are able to put their videos up on YouTube. We don't need to like sell ourselves out to a record label, right? You don't need to sell yourself out to like some crazy big business or whatever the hell it is. You can keep you and express yourself in whatever way you want to. And, um, yeah, I think this was just absolute gold. It's gold. Gold.